News from the toss, Sunrise's captain Grace Scrivens won the toss for the third successive game. And the Sunrisers will be bowling first. Oh, and it's gone. It's come back the other way. It There's a gate left by Marie Kelly and Nick Hancock. Delivers that ball straight through it. Hits the top of off stump. Still on two, but plenty happening. That is shorter, and that's pulled away. That might be the first boundary of the day. Nick Hancock's got the work to do and can't retrieve it. There we go. Back on it. And that is gone. The perfect response. The top of off stump. Teresa Graves has got to go for six. And it's over pitched. It's down the leg side. Almost Yorker slightly gets the line wrong. And again, straighter from Hancock. And that's a cracking shot by Daisy Mullen. Yep. Oh, it's down the ground. That is a cracking shot by Daisy Mullen. I've just said how watchful Daisy Mullen's been. There's a big drive down towards Grace Scrivens. I think that might beat her down towards the hospitality lounges. Taken on the sweep shot and Nadine Declare can't believe it, but she's been given out LBW by the umpire, Maddie Villiers. Three balls into her spell, an instant impact, and the South African overseas goes. There's a big appeal for LBW. I think it's gone. Oh, it's gone straight through. There's no appeal for LBW. It's gone through Daisy Mullen. Might have come off the pad, I think. And she's got to go. She's gone for 14 off 40. Maddie Villiers gets her second. And the Blazer now four down for 50. Oh, and it's come the other way and it's gone. The googly from Jody Grucock goes through the defense of Ella Claridge. Oh, it's gone straight. Oh, no, it's nicked off. Sarah Glenn's been given. It's a great catch by Amara Carr. I just had to have a little look at the bales to make sure they hadn't moved. And Maddie Villiers gets her third wicket. She's three for three of 3.2 overs. And again, cut away. But they're going to take on Kopak this time. They're going to take on the opening bowler and disaster for the Blaze. That is not what you need when you're six down. And it's Yorker length. She's gone aerial into the leg side, down towards deep mid wicket. It's going to beat Joe Gardner, who gives chase. And it's a short ball that doesn't quite get up. And Kirsty Gordon does really well to turn that round the corner. Looking good at the moment. And that's gone straight through Kirsty Gordon. That one has come back into the Blaze captain, as we've seen so much from Kopak. Down the ground again. And well, oh, it's not far away. It's going to beat. Two diving sunrisers in from the Graham Gucci end, returning into the attack. Short ball. That's pulled away by Hyam, who picks out the fielder at deep backwards square. Instant impact. Nick Hancock comes back into the attack. Short ball. Hyam, happy to take it on. Oh, it's gone. Nick Hancock picks up the last wicket. Casty McCarthy just lasts two balls. She walks at the Australian. Lovely shot by Ariana Dallas. And that might actually be one of the first shots that's run across the floor for four at Chelmsford. That's played off the back foot. And that's really nicely timed by Grace Scrivens. And that is going to race away across the outfield. Oh, there's gone. That's hooped back in to Ariana Dallas. And it's, top, it's taken the top of off stump. That is a magic delivery from Grace Ballinger. That one is cut away, and that's cut away really well from Cordelia Griffith. It's going to give the Blaze Fielders a chase. They're not going to get anywhere near it. And Griffiths takes the single. Griffin says no, and it's a calamitous run out for Griffiths. What a shot that is from Jody Grucock. The first properly executed sweep shot we've seen today and that has raced across the boundary down towards the dugouts down the ground Scrivens who gets enough of that one over mid off and does get the boundary this time that she's been looking for and that's hacked away by Scrivens and that is going to be four beats a diving Mullen at square leg and Scrivens picks up another boundary 
down the ground, uses her feet. Grace Scrivens gets that just wide of Sarah Glenn, who's going to give chase down to the boundary. And I think puts in a good effort, but unfortunately cannot just haul it back. A boost as they look to close in on it. Yeah, that's Here we go again. A hefty shot down towards deep mid wicket. Glenn stood no chance on that one. So, um, yeah, quite a Drew few of them this have time, spent some time out there. Unfortunately, holes out to Daisy Mullen. That field has just come back into the circle. And Ballinger over pitches that one and Scrivens drives it down the ground through mid on. That's going to be another four down the ground by Maddie Villiers. And that's a lovely shot. Two now required. It's not going to be short. It's pitched up. It's down the ground and Villiers beats the fielder at mid on. There's a fist pump from Danny Warren. Four runs and the Sunrisers are victorious at Chelmsford in the Rachel Hayho Flint trophy. Back to winning ways for the Sunrisers. A magnificent performance with the bat by their captain, Grace Scrivens, who finishes 46 not out. And Maddie Villiers hits the winning runs with a couple of boundaries.